It's also known that the Army and Navy have a history of conducting secret risk assessments designed to test the vulnerability of American cities and civilians to biological attacks. Since the 1950s, whole cities have been bombarded with live bacteria, supposedly harmless, but causing illness and death for some Americans who are immunocompromised or who have respiratory ailments. And these kinds of things just need to be stopped, and there has to be some accountability. In the 1950s and 60s, the U.S. Army staged mock biological attacks on major American underground systems. According to Army documents, on the 8th of June 1966, more than a million unsuspecting commuters aboard the New York City subway were exposed to supposedly harmless anthrax simulant spores. Could the 2001 anthrax attacks have been another risk assessment test? <laughs>